Hey guys, today I'm going to make for you beef stroganoff. So let's get over here so I can show you our ingredients. Okay guys, right here I have about a pound and a quarter of beef and I have sliced the beef and already browned it in about two tablespoons of uh, grapeseed oil. You can use grapeseed oil or olive oil. I use grapeseed oil. This is about a half an onion. I chopped that up. Um, uh, probably about three-fourths cup of sliced mushrooms right here is about a half a cup of sour cream you can use more sour cream than the half a cup if you like it depends on how much sour cream you like in your beef stroganoff I have about two tablespoons of butter just about four tablespoons of flour that's about another tablespoon to tablespoon and a half of grapeseed oil this is some garlic probably about a tablespoon and a half this is some prepared Dijon mustard and some thyme. If you have fresh thyme, by all means, use fresh thyme. I had only thing I had was the um, powdered, so that's that's what I'm using. So let's get over here to the pan. All right, guys, this is the same pan that I browned the uh, beef off beef off in. You can use um, actually ground beef if you like, or ground turkey. I'm just using the uh, sirloin that I sliced up, and I just browned it before I put the cameras on, just for time's sake. So I'm gonna take. Actually, I'm going to take this oil and put it in this pan. And then I'm going to put the butter right in there also. And that oil before the butter is just to keep the butter from burning. And I have the heat set about a medium, probably about a medium high heat. So I'm going to add the onions. And saute these a bit until they're softened a little bit. And then I'm going to add these mushrooms also. And I'm going to cook these for about a minute. Okay, it's been cooking for about a minute or two. I don't know if I mentioned, this is a beef broth. It's about two cups. Now I'm going to add this um, garlic. I didn't want to add that the same time I did the other because I didn't want it to burn. Because once you burn your garlic, your whole dish is messed up. So I'm going to add that little bit of thyme. Not a lot. You don't need a lot of thyme. And now I'm going to add... Waste some of the flour. I'm going to add the flour. And we're going to cook this flour taste off for probably about two minutes. Okay, once you cook that flour taste off, you're going to add your stock. And then you want to bring this to a boil. Okay, once this comes to a boil, you're going to add your little teaspoon of your Dijon mustard. And if I didn't mention, when I browned this uh, beef, I did season it with a little salt and pepper and um, some paprika. You want to taste this before you put any additional seasoning in there because the stock is, your uh, beef stock's going to be have some sodium in it also. So then you're gonna add your meat back to your pan because now we need to let this simmer so it can get tender. And you're not gonna add your sour cream until the end. So you're gonna put your top over this and let it simmer for about an hour. Okay guys, it's been simmering for about 45 minutes to an hour. That's the timer going off. And if you find it gets a little bit too thick, just add a little bit more stock or water. So once you're at this point, you wanna turn off your heat because you're gonna add your sour cream and you don't want uh, to cook it boiling um, when you put the sour cream because you don't want it to curdle. Now if you use um, creme fraiche instead of sour cream, 
you don't have to worry about that. But I use the sour cream because I like the flavor of the sour cream. You can use the light sour cream or the uh, the fat-free sour cream also in this. And then this can go over um, egg noodles or rice. I've seen people put it over potatoes. I'm gonna put it over some egg noodles. And I'm gonna sprinkle it uh, with a little fresh parsley. So let me plate it up for you so you can see what it looks like. Well, let me give you a closer look first. So I'm gonna plate it up for you. All right, guys, this is what it looks like plated up. Let me give you a closer look. And let me taste it for you. And I just garnished, like I said, with some um, Italian parsley. And those are the egg noodles. Mm. I love beef stroganoff. It's one of my favorite dishes. And the beef, since I let it simmer, is very um, tender. So you guys try this recipe and you guys have a great day.